Now, what if you have a situation like this? You know, the the uterus is not yet descended. It's probably a part of uh, the anterior vaginal wall, and mostly maybe infra uh, cervical elongation. So, what? How will you find this out? Is because just see this, okay? This is anteriorly. It is going, okay? Can you see the black mark? I say anywhere on the anterior vaginal wall. The the wall has descended, but can you see this? My finger is going still inside, maybe around four centimeters or so. So the point A A has not descended. You cannot see a black mark over here. It's still inside. So maybe over here the answer will not be plus three. It will be minus two or minus one. And in my case, minus three. So point A A is still minus three, despite the fact that I can see the prolapse right here in front of my eyes. The cervix is right there in front of me. Similarly goes for the posterior vaginal wall. Okay, I can still put my hand inside. Okay, maybe over here the uterus can the fundus can still be seen. So the hand can still go inside. That means posteriorly also. That means A P is also minus three. Now comes the second question. Point A A is minus three. Point A P is minus three. What about point B A, the most dependent part on the anterior vaginal wall? Where is that? It is still here. So in this case also, C point C that means the cervix actually, or uh, not exactly the cervix. The point C means the anterior vaginal fornix or the anterior fornix. It has descended down with the cervix. So point C and point A, uh, point B A. Is the same, and that will be in this case. It will be five, around five centimeters. Okay, so it is still out. Now let's go to the posterior vaginal wall. Let's talk about the posterior vaginal wall. So in posterior vaginal wall, also like I said, point A P is still inside, so it's minus three. Then comes point B P. The point B P that means the most dependent portion of the posterior vaginal wall. Since this is the not this is not the most dependent portion, which is this, and in my case it's almost like the fingers going by almost minus six centimeters inside, and maybe four is outside. So this is not the dependent portion. The one which is lying outside is actually the dependent portion, which is also that of the cervix. So like I said, it's minus it's plus four in that case. So that means point D. Also becomes your point B P and it's almost lying outside. As far as now, very important is the total vaginal length that you can measure when you're doing the per vaginal examination in the beginning. When you were doing the per vaginal examination, that means when you reduce the prolapse inside, it has gone totally inside. And now you've put, you've tried to calculate, you've tried to calculate the length of the total vaginal wall, which is done posteriorly. So you can measure. PVL. If you want still more clarification on uh, PopQ grid, please uh, tell me through WhatsApp or whatever. This model will always stay with me, and I can show you through different uh, methodologies the different kinds of prolapse. So um, uh, please go and uh, watch my lectures. Only then you will have clarity. Uh, watch my quiz because that is going to also clarify a lot of your doubts in your mind. So just stay tuned.